you want to submit your character to be in some of these videos, then make sure you tune in till the end of the video. And make sure to like the video before we get started. Jamar Day's senior season has been going extremely well so far. He transferred to Oak Hill Academy from Sitwell Friends School in Washington, D.C. And so far during his senior year, Jamar is averaging 30 points per game against some of the best competition in the nation. The first two games of the season, Oak Hill went on the road against Marta Day and Sierra Canyon. But the last two games they played were home games. Oak Hill is about to go back on the road and play against a very talented Montverde Academy. Before the road trip, Jamar Day is getting some shots up. He hasn't been the best shooting so far this senior season. And he knows that if they want to beat Montverde Academy, he needs to deliver on his outside shot. Down 2 nothing early, Oak Hill has the ball right here. Deion Matthews, a Patreon member, gives it to Jamar Day. Now Jamal Day is working the post. At 7 feet tall, he can use his size as an advantage. Hit him with the little hook shot, but he ends up missing. Rebound from Montverde, scores 2-2. Two to two. Fast break, gives it to Jamal Day. Trying to go to the lane. Puts the shot up, got it to go through, even though it was contested. Big time bucket right there by Jamal. 4-2, inbounds the ball to Torrance. Torrance brings it up. Torrance is a subscriber to the channel, by the way. Gives the ball to Jamal Day, catch and shoot from 3. Ends up breaking it. That was a lot of space he had. Should have knocked that down. Has the ball outside once again. Shot clock winding down. Hit him with the fadeaway three-pointer. Definitely missed that right there. Corey Bailey, a Patreon member, would get the rebound. They bring the ball up. Down by one. Matthews gives it to Torrance. Torrance gives it to Jamar Day, and that's a clean look. Ends up getting fouled in the process. And one. At that point, you just got to let that man shoot the rock. Because you know he was going to make that. Three-point play completed. Oak Hill up 9-7 over Montverde with two minutes left to go in the first. Now the score is 9-9. Jamar Day getting a little bit of resistance from 25. Trying to back him down in the post. Enforces Will and he gets the shot sent. Okay. Getting a little physical with this man. Montverde is one of the best teams in the nation. And it won't be easy to get any type of shot on them. 9-11. Montverde is up. Jamar Day gets the rock. Trying to post him up once again. Goes inside, finishes with the left, nice bucket. Scores tied 11-11 with 52 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Now on defense, shot clock winding down, puts a shot up, ends up missing. Jamar Day gets the rebound, brings the ball up. 23 seconds left to go in the first quarter, hit him with a crossover. Now got his back to the basket, trying to go up, ends up missing. Montverde will hit a three-pointer on that possession. 1.7 seconds left to go in the first. Jamar Day gets the ball way too late. Ends up missing the three-pointer anyway. End of the first quarter here in Montverde, Florida. Jamar Day checks back into the game with 2.48 left to go in a half. And they're down by 10. 26 to 16. Hey, they needed number seven on the floor. And I don't know why they taking way too long to inbound the ball. Jamar Day gets it. Going to his right. Jamar Day passes it to a wide open teammate. Got that to go through. Nice assist right there by Jamar. 26 to 19. Jamar has the ball outside the three-point line. Trying to hit him with a crossover, getting double teamed right now. Has to pass it to his teammate. Now Jamar Day gets the ball once again. Back to the basket. Trying to back him down. Jamar Day imposing his will on him. Got the bucket to go through. 26-21. Jamar Day cuts that lead from 10 to 5, which forces Montverde to call a timeout. Oak Hill would be on defense right here. It would inbound the rock. Wolf Hendricks trying to drive and Jamar Day just strips him. Has the ball on the fast break. Trying to take it all the way. Beautiful pass to Zion King. Another subscriber to the channel with the smooth dunk. 23-26. Jamar Day with another steal. Akawando gives it to Jamar Day. On the fast break. Slows it down just a little bit. Getting double teamed. Back to the basket. Fade away. Ends up missing. Rebound from Montverde. They would miss this shot right here. Rebound from Jamar Day. 40 seconds left to go in the half. Jamar Day. Going coast to coast. That was way too easy. No resistance at all. Oak Hill was on the run. Now they're down by three. 
Jamar Day has the ball outside the three-point line, guarded by C.R. Manson, a subscriber to the channel, and he trying to bully his way in. Jamar Day, with three dudes draped around him, goes underneath and gets the bucket. Stop playing with this man. And guys, he's fine. He just hit the ground just a little bit too hard. Get up, man. Come on now, your defense needs you. It's five on four. Come on, bro. C.R. Manson gets the rock, pulls up. Got the shot to go through, mainly because Jamar Day was lacking on the other side of the floor. Down by three. Three seconds left. Jamar Day. Time winding down. Pulls up. Misses it. Halftime. Oak Hill. 27. Montverde. 30. I love the entertaining games that we're having today. Third quarter. Montverde up by three. 32-29. Jamar Day. Found a great look right there. Ends up pump faking. Gets double teamed. Finds a wide open teammate. Knocked that down from three. Tie game, 32-32. Now it's 34-36. Jamal Day gets the ball outside of the three-point line. The Montverde fans and students screaming for the defense. Jamal Day going to his left. Going to the lane, gets fouled. And now he has two shots. Foul on Corey Bailey, a Patreon member. Jamal Day first free throw, got that to go through. 35-36. See if he can knock down that second free throw. During the summer, Jamar Day was not a good free throw shooter, but during his high school season, he's been exceptional. Score is now tied, which forces Montverde to call a timeout. 36-36, Jamar Day has the ball once again. Fade away, but he ends up missing. Shots are just not falling through like that. Jamar Day goes behind the back, hit him with a crossover, going to the lane. That was beautiful right there. Pretty transition right there for Jamar Day. 39-38, three-point shot from Montverde, ends up missing. Jamal Day with the rebound, not going to give it to the point guard. He's going to bring it up himself. And the Red Sea just parted. Instead of going up, he decides to pass it out. I don't know what he was thinking right there. Torrance with the three-pointer, ends up missing. That was a wasted possession for the Oak Hill Warriors right there. Less than one minute left to go in the first quarter. Jamal Day bullies his way in there, slams it through. Oak Hill got a stop on defense, so Jamal brings it up. Trying to go coast to coast once again. Gives it to a wide open teammate. Does not take the shot. Jamar Day getting double teamed. Gives it to another wide open teammate. Deion Matthews misses that as well. But they got the rebound. Gave it back to Jamar Day. Jamar Day getting triple teamed low key. 14 seconds left. Matthews gives it to Jamar. Jamar getting double teamed once again. Gives it to Matthews from three. Knockdown. Great assist from Jamal Day. Score is tied 43-43. And now it's the start of the fourth quarter. Montverde has the ball to start it. Jamal Day all over him right here. Double teaming him low key. Strips it. Jamal Day fast breaking. He just comes out of nowhere. Jamal Day gives it to his teammate way too late. He ends up missing the shot and another wasted possession by Oak Hill. That's the difference between winning and losing. Jamar Day gets a steal right there. You got to get some points out of that possession. Jamar Day gives it to Torrance. Torrance ends up missing the three-pointer. Jamar Day gets the rebound and misses the shot as well. It seems like all throughout this game, Jamar Day is getting contested looks. He can't make the contested shot because he's being double teamed. He gives it to wide open teammates and they end up missing. Jamar Day shoots it with a whole bunch of commotion, ends up missing it. Complaining for a foul right now. You need to get up, bro. Because Oak Hill is losing by seven. With four minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, Jamar Day would get an easy look right there and lay it up. Scores 45 to 50 right now. And at this point, it's time for Jamar Day to impose his will, just like he did right there, dominating. Oak Hill would end up getting the steal. And Torrance would lay this up. Score is now 49 to 50 with three minutes left to go in the fourth. But Montverde would hit a three, so it'd be 53 49. 230 left. Jamar Day getting double teamed. Ends up making a terrible pass. Montverde has the ball. Three on one. Jamar Day sends the shot, but they don't get the rebound. Montverde gets the rebound there. Up by six. Jamar Day has the rock right here. Getting double teamed. Tries to go up. Misses it. Montverde gets the rebound, and it's looking a little ugly for Oak Hill. They need to make a stop right here if they want to win this game. Nice steal. Torrance has the rock. Loses control of it. Gives it back to Jamar Day. Jamar Day. Mm, stop playing with this man. And one. 55 51. Sit him to the free throw line. Can he finish this and make it a three point play? Put him within three points. Jamar Day being clutch with the free throws. Making Montverde call a timeout. He was not this good at shooting free throws during EYBL. Jamar Day trying to bully his way up. Got that bucket to go. Now it's 54-55 with 1.30 left to go in the game. On defense. Shoots the three ball. Misses Montverde with the rebound. But Jamar Day sends the shot. 
Zion King with the rebound. Zion King bringing it up. Jamar Day trailing. Gives it to Rosada. Rosada gives it to Jamar Day. Hits him with a pump fake. Getting double teamed. Finds a wide open man. Decides not to take the shot. Gave it back to Jamar Day. Now he trying to impose his will in the paint. Getting triple team right there though. Forced him to pass it out. Torrance gives it back to Jamar Day. Shoots the shot. Ends up missing. Montver with the rebound. And Montver would end up getting the bucket. Up 57-54 with 30 seconds left to go in the fourth. Torrance gives it to Jamar Day. Jamar Day going with his left. Pass across the floor to Rosado. Gives it to Zion King. Gives it back to him. None of these guys want to take the three-point shot. Jamar Day ends up taking it, but he misses. Can't get the rebound. Ball goes out of bounds. Montver has the rock with 14 seconds left. Oak Hill fouled him. Got the first free throw to go through. It's 58-54. Missed the second free throw. Rosada has the ball. Gave it to Jamar Day. Jamar Day taking way too long to get a shot off. Wide open. Deion Matthews got that three-pointer to fall through. Three seconds left. Down by one. They need to foul him. Send him to the line. They did foul him. Send him to the line. But it's .5 seconds left. Corey Bailey hit the first free throw. It's extremely clutch with it. Second free throw. Got that to go through. Forcing Oak Hill to call a timeout. But Oak Hill makes a terrible coaching decision. Forcing Jamar Day to inbound. They missed the three-point shot and the game is over. Montbert wins 60-57 to over the Oak Hill Warriors. My opinion. The reason why Oak Hill lost... Wasted opportunities. Jamar Day had a great game, though. 28 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 steals, 2 blocks, 12 for 26 from the floor. Not the best. Not what he normally puts up. Less than 50%. But anyways, it's Reezy here with the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you click on the post notification bell, too. Also, if you want a video made on your character, then make sure you comment in the comment section on YouTube. You can be a character in the Reason Sports Network universe. We make content for high school, college, and the pros. You can submit a form. The link will be in the description. However, if you sign up with Patreon, you'll have a lot more customization and control over your character. The link will be in the description. If you want to see the number one 8th grader in the nation play in a great contested game, then click this video right here. Or you can see every single Jamar Day video if you click on the playlist above.